There are so many people in our world, but all of us are different one from another. You will never find two people who are exactly the same. It's impossible. We are created unique. We have different assignments on planet Earth. Even when we look alike, we are much different in several ways. You must celebrate your uniqueness. You must understand that the God who made you the way you are knows what he is doing. You have an assignment to God. That assignment is very important. No matter who is your friend or brother who has gone big and successful, to God, his assignment is as important as yours. You may be a cleaner in a small company, but your assignment is as important as the, pre- as the assignment of the president of your country. Good morning. You are welcome to today's edition of I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga. As usual, the Almighty God, the creator of the heavens and the earth, has sent me to you again with a word to encourage you, to inspire you, to motivate you, and to bless you. This morning, I pray that God himself will speak to you, open your heart, give you understanding, increase your wisdom, empower you, and give you the grace to be a doer of his word. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Today, I want you to understand one very basic fact. I'm talking to you about controlling your own spirit. The Bible says, a man who controls his own spirit is better than another man who takes the whole city captive but cannot control his spirit. It is important for you to have the power to control yourself. If we don't have this power of self-control, the truth of life is that there are so many things in life that are willing and ready to control you. Take for example, if you meet somebody who speaks an insulting word to you, if you don't have self-control, you will react to those insulting words. And that may, you know, end up in a physical fight, a thing you never, you know, thought you would do that day. But somebody, somebody else's words and action may turn you on and get you angry to the point of being ready to fight. Just because somebody spoke a word or looked at you in a certain way or behaved to you in a certain way, that thing will control you so much that you now begin to get angry. Don't you know That when you get angry at a time you are not planning to get angry, don't you know that somebody has controlled you? Something has controlled you. Self-control or taking charge is ruling your spirit irrespective of what they say, irrespective of what they do, irrespective of how they look at you irrespective of what they do. You see, we must get to that level where we are willing and ready and able to control our temperament. The reason why many people fight and some couples end up killing themselves is because one or both of them do not have self-control. You see, there is no husband or wife that set out to wake up one day to kill his or her wife or husband, you know, you know. But they end up killing one another because one or both of them do not have self-control. And it always begins very, very softly. You speak a word, then the other one answer in anger. The word, the answer in anger trigger another anger in you. Then you give back, you know, another word that will trigger a more furious anger from the partner. 
And before you know it, there is noise everywhere. And before you know it, the husband and the wife have started throwing stones to each other and sometimes broken bottles and sometimes knife. And before you know it, one is dead. A thing that was not planned. Today, God has sent me to tell you and to warn you and to advise you and to inspire you to control yourself. Learn to control yourself. You must learn to tell yourself, I will not be moved by what they do to me. No matter how anybody look at me, I will allow my spirit to control me. Because when their look can control you, how weak you are. When their words can control you, don't you see how weak you are? If their action can set you to be angry, you need to understand you are a weak person. You need to pray. You must pray that God, I receive power to be in control. I receive power to be in charge. Let no man deceive you. If you cannot control yourself, there is nothing else that you can control. Your inability to control yourself, your failure to have self-mastery is the very same failure that you will have when you are trying to have business mastery. You must learn to control yourself. This is very important. In the face of provocation, you must learn the act of calming down and listening to yourself rather than those insulting words that have been spoken. When somebody comes to the surface, begins to insult you and speak unprintable words and sometimes some blunted lies against you to your very face, learn to look inward and listen to yourself and react according to yourself not according to those insulting words you are hearing. God has sent me to you this morning. You, that man, you, that woman, that gets angry and speak angry words to your husband or to your wife. You must stop this. Because, you see, the problem is that we don't know. When we are fighting and we are speaking angry words, there is a devil that wants to come in and take advantage of the situation and make a mess of that situation. It is important for you to rule your spirit. This is the message that God puts in my mouth this morning to speak to you. Don't forget. All when you wake up in the morning, tell yourself, I will not be controlled by anybody's words. I will not be controlled by anybody's look. I will not be controlled by anybody's actions. I am controlled by God, by myself. When you make this a point of duty to remind yourself every day that you are in control, not the media, you are in control, not your friend, you are in control, not your wife. You are in control, not your husband. It is not their angry words that will control you. It is your spirit that will rule you to overcome that angry words. Maybe when they are speaking their angry words, maybe your reaction will be silence. When you learn to be silent in the, in the, in the face of provocation, you defeat the devil. You are that person that can rule the world. Now, this is the word that God put in my mouth this morning. Thank you for listening. I hope this blessed you. You can rebroadcast this. And please, I want you to please rebroadcast this to your friends and loved ones. You are able to hear this message every day because of the contributions of the partners of I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga. Thank you, partners. If you got this by a rebroadcast, and you want me to send it directly to you. Just save my number with I Prevail. My number is plus 2774-0302-381. Save it right now and go to your WhatsApp or Telegram. 
send me this simple message and ask me to send to you. Just say, send to me. And from tomorrow, I'll begin to send these messages to you. Thank you again. It is well with your soul. May God bless you and lift you and make you to have self-mastery and self-control in Jesus' name. Your brother, your friend, your pastor, Joseph Adenoga, signing out and saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed.